When we're building applications, it is quite common to have a defined layout for every page in the application. For example, a header at the top and a footer at the bottom. In Next.js, the recommended way to define such app layouts is in the underscore app.js file. For the demo, I've created a brand new Next project called next-miscellaneous which you can find on my GitHub repo. Let's begin by creating the header and footer components. In the project root, create a new folder called components. Within the folder, create a new file called header.js. It is going to be a very simple component with the text header and a class layout header applied. So div tag, the text is header, and the class is layout header. Let's also export the component as the default export. Before we define the styles for this header class, let's create the footer component as well. So create a new file called footer.js copy paste the header component and change all occurrences of header to footer. Now that we have the two components, let's define the header and footer classes in a CSS file. In the styles folder, create a new file called layout.css. Here, I'm going to copy paste the styles for header and footer classes. Now it's completely fine if the header and the footer components don't look great because styling is not the focus here. We just want two components that we can make use of for our layout. So let's head over to underscore app.js file in the pages folder and define the layout. As I mentioned before, the component that is returned from the my app component is the individual page defined in the pages folder. For example, the component defined inside index.js. So all we have to do is add a header at the top of this component, a footer at the bottom, and wrap it all with a React fragment. So let's start with the fragment. Above the component, add the header component. Make sure to import it at the top. I'm also going to add a footer component. Again, make sure to import the components at the top. But we also need the CSS file. So import styles slash layout.css. If you now save all the files and take a look at the browser, we have the home component, but at the top, we have a header and at the bottom we have a footer. And we can ignore the overlapping of text right now because the home component also has a footer defined. But what I want to show is that this layout with a header and a footer holds good for any page we define in the pages folder. Let's quickly look at that. In the pages folder, I'm going to create a new file called about.js. Within the file, define a simple component with a class name of content. So about returns an h1 tag, the text is about, and the class is content. Make sure to also default export the same. In layout.css, define the content class. Again, CSS is not the focus and you can add any styles you want to. But if we head back to the browser and navigate to slash about, you can see this page as well contains the header at the top and the footer at the bottom. So every page in the application will automatically have a layout. Of course, you might have a few exceptions. You might perhaps want the sign up and login pages to not have this common layout. 
Maybe the header is not necessary. Let me show you how to add a per page layout. In about.js, I'm going to define a function on the component. Let's call it get layout. This is going to be equal to a function called page layout, which automatically receives the page as its parameter. In our case, page here would be the about page itself. What we are going to do is return react fragment, which contains only the page itself along with the footer. And you can notice I've already import footer at the top. We can make use of this in underscore app.js file. At the top, inside the function, if component dot get layout is defined, we're going to return the component with the page props, but we're going to wrap it with the get layout function. So component dot get layout, and we pass in the component which is in fact the page. If you now save the file and head back to the browser, you do have an error because of the typo in Git layout. So change this again, head back to the browser, and we have our about page with no header, but only a footer. Navigate to the home page, and we have both the header and the footer. So this is pretty much how you can define a single shared layout for your app as well as a per page layout. All right, thank you all for watching and I'll see you in the next video.